And now let's take a look at what else made news around the world. Time for Gravitas Global Headlines. President Joe Biden says the United States will impose further costs on Iran for its lethal crackdown on protests sparked by the death of Masa Amini, drawing accusations of hypocrisy from Iran. Russia's defense minister Sergei Shoigu says more than 200,000 people have been conscripted into the Russian army since President Putin announced a mobilization drive on September 21st. Facing a fresh battle with the MPs, UK Prime Minister Liz Truss refuses to rule out real-term benefit cuts to fund her tax-cutting growth plan. Around 140 million people in Bangladesh were without power on Tuesday afternoon after a grid failure caused widespread blackouts. The EU Parliament passes a new law requiring USB-C to be the single charger standard for all new smartphones, tablets and cameras from late 2024. In a major push towards gender equality, the Indian Air Force will begin inducting women as a part of the force by 2023, under its Agnivir scheme. Elaine Aspect, John F. Clauser and Anton Seilinger have won the Nobel Prize in Physics for their landmark achievements in quantum mechanics. That is the study of the behavior of particles and atoms. Saudi Arabia to host the 2029 Asian Winter Games at an under-construction $500 billion futuristic desert megacity that planners say will feature a year-round winter sports complex. A year-long independent investigation has found systemic abuse and misconduct within women's professional soccer in the United States. It also reveals that the National Women's Soccer League under the US Soccer Federation failed to provide a safe environment for players. Reigning US Open champion Carlos Alcaraz has lost the first match he played after becoming world number one following his US Open triumph. The Spanish teenager went down against Belgium's David Gouffain in the first round of the Astana Open. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.